think there's some selfish people in that defense. I think that when you wear a C on your jersey, it's your job to bring guys along. It's your job to sometimes you need to take the and you need to like bring the thing together. I don't know if that's the case. You hold out for a contract, you come in, you're not really making any plays like splash plays. Why are you the captain of this defense, bro? Yeah. The way that you conduct yourself. We're going to keep going, bro. First snap to the beginning. First snap to the last. No doubt. Look, I, don't, I really give a about people who ain't here. And so, you know, for us to move on as a team, um, we can't have like that in the room. Malcolm, he said that uh, there were leadership issues on this team. The 12-year to... vet said there was leadership issues? He did. Yeah, well, we'll find out. That's yet to be seen. You said that you haven't had uh, really players or meetings since you've been here. Did that change this week? Yes. Welcome back, Philly fans. It's a great week to be an Eagle. We had some business to take care of this week. It was a messy couple weeks with the locker room stuff getting out. We really needed to go into Buffalo and punch somebody in the mouth and, and get a win and turn this thing around. That's exactly what we did today. Super proud of the guys. Really happy uh, for the coaches and players, and, and it's a great win for us fans. Without further ado, let's just hop right into it. We started off on defense. We had some nice stops the first two series we were out. Really happy to see that. As far as how they scored on that first touchdown, I thought Gary had to, he was kind of stuck in a, a rock in a hard place. He had to make a decision. He went to cover Allen, left Beasley open, and Allen made the throw and they got a touchdown. It is what it is. I thought the defense brought pressure on Allen all game today. Um, he had a couple uh, plays where he got out and, and was able to run. Didn't really care for that too much. I, I didn't really like to see that. For the most part, we did bring a lot of pressure to him. Fumbled three times, so credit the defense for four and those. Um, we had that big fourth and ten stop with Darby breaking up that pass play. Not too much action today for the secondary with all the wind, not a lot of deep balls being thrown. That was a great play by Darby getting in there, breaking up that pass. I was really glad to see that. Um, I thought Graham, Gary, Jenkins, Cox, uh, Rodney McLeod Jr., I thought they all uh, were getting to the ball today, getting after it, making plays. So shout out to those guys. They did a really good job. Defense played well today. I, I was really happy to see that, really happy to see those guys come together and, and play together, gel together, and feel good about walking out of there today. All right, let's get into the offense. I really thought we came out and the offense had a sense of urgency. We ran the ball really well. Howard ended up with 96 yards, one touchdown. Sanders had that big run for 65 yards in the touchdown. He ended up with 74 yards rushing, I think 44 yards receiving. So he was really nice. I, I really like when we flip those guys, when, you know, Doug's talked about how Howard's good at running the ball, Sanders is good at catching the ball, but I like when we mix it up. And if you watch, there was a couple plays where we ran the ball with, uh, we ran the ball with Sanders and we threw some passes to Howard, they were still productive. So I think really we should still try to mix that up just a little bit uh, and, and keep defenses on their toes because as, as good as Howard is running and as good as Sanders is receiving, we can really throw defenses off if we really mix it up with those guys. I think those guys can really do some damage. That two-point conversion, Doug said it was weather-related. Um, they decided to go for that instead of kicking it with that win, and we uh, completed that again. I think that's our third conversion attempt this, this year, maybe three for three if I'm not mistaken. So glad that we're converting those and, and we're successful on those, keeping the confidence high on that. Aguilar, Goddard, Ertz, Alshon, Sanders, they all caught passes today when we needed them to. A couple didn't go uh, a few people's ways, but overall Carson threw the ball pretty well. 17 for 24. I believe he had like a 70 some percent completion percentage today. So that's really good. 172 yards, no touchdown or no interceptions and one touchdown. So you gotta like get out of there with without a turnover from him. I thought we really controlled the clock really well. 35 minutes, 57 seconds. Um, was happy to see that. So overall, just offense, defense. We really played a good game. We really went in there. Players did their jobs. They played their role. They did what they needed to do. They were making plays. And that's what we needed to, to get this game, get this win, turn this thing around and go into these next three home games with some confidence. All right, so let's talk final thoughts. All right, like I said, we really needed this game. We all knew it. Everybody around the Philadelphia Eagles organization knew that we needed to get this win today. We knew that this was the turning point in the season. Uh, we really need to, to take this win and put everything behind us, move forward. We got three home games next. Uh, celebrate this win tonight, uh, enjoy it, and tomorrow we'll go back to work, start preparing for the Bears, and then we get a nice bye week and, and can prepare for the Patriots. So really happy uh, how this team turned it around today. I really think there's, there's something left in the season. Um, we're sitting at about the same spot that we were last year and we're able to uh, get a little taste of the playoffs. So uh, if we could turn this thing around, we could definitely get there. We could definitely make something out of this year. So there's still a little time left. Uh, not a whole lot. We're halfway through the season, but I believe we can get there. Shout out to Miles Sanders for getting his first rushing touchdown in the NFL. 
Shout out to Boston Scott for getting his first NFL touchdown. I know those guys are pretty excited, so that's good that uh, those guys got those under their belt. Really happy for them. As far as injuries, I haven't looked into that. I haven't seen anything yet. I know Miles Sanders went out, uh, so hopefully he'll be all right. As far as next week, I really don't anticipate Deshaun being back for the Bears. I think they'll probably have him have him out. He'll rest up. Then he'll get the bye week, and I'm guessing that he'll be ready for the Patriots. I really think we'll see him suit up for that game and be prepared for that. So I think that's really what they're prepping him for. So I don't think we'll see him next week uh, against the Bears. But then again, who knows? Uh, no, I don't think anybody's really sure where Deshaun actually is with that injury. Again, guys, great win today. Uh, really proud of the guys. Really happy for the team. Like I said, celebrate tonight. Enjoy the win. And then tomorrow we'll get after it and start preparing for a nice opportunity against the Chicago Bears. So until next week, guys, appreciate you guys watching. And again, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. And I'll see you guys next week. Fly Eagles Fly. Peace.